Hi everybody, we got a question about yeast. So I'm gonna to talk to you about yeast infections, but we're also gonna talk about some of the most commonly searched questions about yeast infection. Hi, Dr. Lisa, it's Khadija. Uh, what is the connection between yeast infections and antibiotics? Why do you get a yeast infection when you take an antibiotic? I get this question a lot from my friends, my family, and sometimes from my patients. It's because when you take an antibiotic, it wipes out all the good bacteria that are naturally in our bodies. And the purpose of good bacteria is to keep germs like yeast, which is a fungus, under control. An antibiotic is usually prescribed when you have an infection, but the antibiotic doesn't know which germs to kill. So yeast is a type of germ. If it's in your body along with other good bacteria, the antibiotic can actually wipe out those bacteria, which were keeping the yeast in control. So now I'm going to look at some commonly asked questions about yeast infections on the internet. Are yeast infections contagious? No, they're not. And this is why we see many more yeast infections in women than we do in men. It's not a sexually transmitted infection. And we don't clearly understand why yeast is not passed from one sexual partner to another. Can yeast infections cause bleeding? Not usually. If you're seeing blood from your vagina or when you pee, it's important to see your doctor to figure out where that blood is coming from. Which yeast infection treatment is best? Luckily, we have many treatments for yeast infection because yeast is a fungus and we have medications to treat fungus. These medications can be taken as a pill or inserted in your vagina. Will yeast infections go away on their own? For some people, they might because this is a battle between yeast and the bacteria in your body. Sometimes your good bacteria might win. But in most cases, you need to be treated to get rid of a yeast infection. What do you do if you keep getting yeast infections? The best thing to do is to go see your healthcare provider and explain what's happening around the time you get a yeast infection so that your doctor has all the information to help you resolve the problem. Do you still have questions about yeast infection? Leave a comment below or contact us at Grapevine Health. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button.